for cheap, fast and reliable bells and items in Animal Crossing, make sure you check out z2u.com, linked down below for some amazing deals. Hey, what is up guys? We are back for what is actually my fourth Animal Crossing video recording of the day. And this time, as you can see from the title, we are going through a first look of International Museum Day. And that will be how to complete the stamp rally and all of the rewards you can get alongside what you'll actually be doing. So obviously in the uh, trailer, which at the minute with Nintendo's uh, copyright claims, I won't be showing a piece of the video. But of course, as you remember, there is a part of it that goes over it and just shows you in the museum with what is like a little plinth with, of course, an owl picture on the front. And we know there is stamps. Uh, and obviously, we are going to be going through everything today. This is all possible because of Animal Crossing World and their amazing site. There's pretty much articles on anything Animal Crossing you can imagine. I mean, even at the side here, there's bush types, colours, blooming seasons. That's just one guide. Like, who'd have thought? But anyway, we're not going over the uh, bush types today or red paintings for that matter. We are going over the museum day. So let's just have a quick read of this article. And you guys will know exactly what's coming, what to expect and what you're going to have to do for this. So, let's start with, you know, the start. That probably helps us a lot. So, as we can see, the International Museum Day event will be held in Animal Crossing starting May the 18th. So, that is just less than a week today. And it'll be running for almost two full weeks until May the 31st. So, you know, you've got some good time to do this event. I have, of course, had a little read ahead. So, you won't have to do something every day uh, and a bit like the uh, May Day tour. It's also not just one day that's spread over a week period. It's uh, nine days you will actually need to at least log in and uh, do part of this museum day, which is actually a museum fortnight. So yeah, odd name for it, but you know, I digress. So it's important to note that you can only access the museum day event inside of the game after it has been activated by the real world date of May the 18th. So even though we had the update for May Day uh, with version 1.2.0a, that actually wasn't unlocked until you reached May. So even though we had Leaf a few days prior, you obviously can't access it until then. So as it says here, it's not possible to time travel to play the event if that hasn't occurred yet. Uh, and then, of course, if you don't have a Nintendo account attached to your Switch, then you won't be able to enjoy the event. And now, how to play it, which I'm sure you're all wondering about. You, of course, speak to Blathers, who gives you this dialogue. I believe a lot of this information is obtained from data miners, as, of course, my wedding video went over the items you can get. And, of course, some people do have access to them, which, of course, is also date and time blocked. A lot like this is. So unless those people don't actually have the items. And they've just managed to pull the images out of nowhere. Then yeah you will have to abide by that. But of course you speak to Blathers. He'll tell you all about International Museum Day. And how his establishment is holding and exciting. Should be in quotations. I mean after May Day I don't expect a lot. Exciting stamp rally to celebrate the occasion. We expect the Blavers will give you a stamp card so you can begin participating in the event. And then, of course, it goes on to explain how you will actually get stamps on the stamp card. And as I glossed over, we do see this in the trailer we had. So once you've got the card, you can begin collecting them. You walk up to one of the carts or plimps. I'd say they look more like plimps, even though they're on wheels. I'm sure you can get a plimp that's on wheels. But anyway, you open up your stamp card and fill out one of the spots with a stamp. We're not sure how many stamps there are in total, but three main stamp spots can be found on the fish stamp card. So, of course, as we see, there is Coral Reef, the Coast and Serenity Tank. 
So as they say here, if each card has three spots as seen on the card below, then there will be nine stamps in total to collect. As for the fourth smaller circle in the bottom right of the stamp card, we're guessing that will be the completion stamp, which does of course make sense. You know, these might all just be blue ones or different colours, but that might be like a gold or a silver just to mark it off as completed, just so you can keep track of it. Uh, and weirdly enough, like our uh, current Nook Mile rewards, there's no date on here, which I found a little bit unusual. Um, so of course it does look like a stamp, but obviously when we get these um, achievements, let's just call them for the uh, Nook Miles, they do obviously give you a date on them. So I thought that was a little bit strange, seeing as it does, as it says here, it only runs for 14 days. And of course it does say, obviously, if each card has them, this is only the fish one. There is also probably going to be bugs and fossils. Um, there's no word on if there is actually an art one yet. It does seem to be missing. And from the rewards at the bottom here, it does also seem to be missing from there as well. But as it says here, since the International Museum Day event spans for about 14 days, we can see there being a cap of collecting one stamp per day that would require players to participate in the stamp rally for 9 out of 14 days as I said at the start. But of course, that may be completely different. Based on May Day, that took not even a day. That took five minutes. Let's be real. Obviously, with Leaf, that's a returning benefit we are going to get. So, you know, you get all the different bushes uh, and they bloom at different times. But of course, for this, it isn't out of the realms of possibility that this is going to be something you can do in maybe one or two days. But like I said, there is no date or timestamp on the card when it's given to you. So unless we're missing an animation just after this, which is possible, but again, unlikely. Because of course, if this was part of the trailer, they could have just added the day that it starts. Because it was mentioned when it was going to be in the trailer anyway. So I mean, putting a little date on there wouldn't have spoiled anything. Um, so we can assume this is the final image of what the card is going to look like. And there isn't a date or time stamp on there. But obviously if you do everything in however long it takes. Uh, you will get a different set of rewards. And as it states here. There are three different reward items you can get by collecting stamps. And completing the various stamp rallies during the event in Animal Crossing. Each of the three main exhibits in the museum offers a unique reward. So as I mentioned no art plaque, as you can see in nice bold text there. So, of course, there is a fish one, a bug one, and a fossil one. It does briefly mention these can't be customised, but that's, um, that's pretty obvious there. But as far as we know, the art exhibit inside the museum isn't included in the stamp rally for International Museum Day. So there's no art plaque reward available. And then, of course, we have a disclaimer at the bottom saying it's a mix of information from the official Japanese website, the Nintendo of America press release, data mining, as assumed for the air, uh, the rewards at the bottom here, and, of course, some assumptions. So, again, this is all speculation, but it is nice to give us a first look at what we can expect from this event. But hopefully this one is a lot better. We don't have any reason not to trust them. I mean, we're all looking forward to, for example, the wedding event, which if you haven't seen, I've done a video on. Uh, and on the rest of my channel, there is loads more Animal Crossing content anyway. So it's clear the, uh, the game isn't a complete letdown just based on that one event. And we've got plenty of cool stuff to look forward to. So I'm sure this is going to be miles better than that Mayday Tour. But we will cover everything to do with this event and any other event here on the channel. So make sure you subscribe for more Animal Crossing content. We also play the game live over on Twitch sometimes. So make sure to go check that out. That is twitch.tv forward slash Ray Rune. We also have an awesome Discord community, which is always happy to help with anything. We've got villager trades. We've got turnip prices. We've got a trading hub. You can actually be in my videos or streams, so there is sections in the Discord for that. So if I'm doing something cool and need your guys' help, that'll be my first point of call. I will always go to the Discord first. So it's worth checking out, just for even cool fun stuff we do on the channel. 
And of course, I do have a small series that I've just started, which at the minute is called Island Tutorials. But if you've watched the uh, Mario video, of course, that may change soon. So, you know, if you're super early and watch that series, you might be one of the OGs that remembers the original name of that playlist. But like I said, guys, my links for everything are down below. I will be covering this and everything else as we get more information for this amazing game. But for now, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, peace out, take care, and stay safe.